I got secondhand embarrassment from yesterday. First of all, I want to show y'all something. This made me hot. Let me show y'all something. Hold up. Hold up. This pissed me off, bro. I literally put in the chat. I don't know if y'all can see this. The fuck? I ain't lie. A thousand of 200 might be worth a bet. What? I said, I ain't going to lie. A thousand dollars off of 200 might be worth a bet. Niggas got rich last night. I know niggas got rich last night, bro. The odds for Ryan Garcia going the distance was insane. I mm -hmm. literally put in the chat because I like I said I, I like I said Devin Haney was going to win, right? I, that, I said that I got a back, mm -hmm. I got to apologize. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I thought Devin Haney was going to win, but I was looking at the mm -hmm. odds and I'm like. Man, you can put, put up a couple dollars and really win. Like, imagine if you would have put up a thousand dollars. Like, you probably won like mm -hmm. five plus thousand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yo, last night really gave me secondhand embarrassment because I was one of the ones like rooting for Devin Haney. I was one of the ones saying Devin Haney is underrated. Granted, I think he's trying to bite off more than he could chew when he's talking about trying to fight Tank. That's way that's you don't want them problems, especially after last night. But I was mm. like, yeah, I think that would be a good fight. I think Devin Haney has proven himself. He, he didn't fought some people, right? Mm -hmm. However, last night, bro, to let somebody who didn't take the fight serious at all, like Ryan Garcia ain't even take the, he, he drank a beer at the scale. That's top, that's next level disrespect. I just want to play some highlights real quick, man. Hold up, man. Please, this, I'm with you. This is crazy. This is insane. Hold up. I saw them in the interview and him tapping his leg and dancing around and shit. <laughs> and Haney talking about, I don't think he's really serious. Look at this. I mean, uh, I'm a, this is crazy, man. Woo! Yo, look, he like he it's like he can't get up. It's like he trying, but he can't. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn. Got we, got them, we got them noodle legs, player. Look, bro, it's like he that's he's that's a dead body. Yeah. Like, it, 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 and some fresh ass clothes. Yo, this is crazy. And, and, bro, the referee, bro, I don't know if you watched. Did you watch the fight? <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but bro, the referee, I heard about it. Yo, so it could have, it would have been. 10 times worse for Devin Haney if the referee wasn't on the side. Like, the referee was kept, like, breaking it up, like, trying to trying to protect him from going down, it seemed like. Yo, mm -hmm. this shit, I'm, I'm a, since you ain't watching, I'm going I'm to play, play the highlights for you. Hold up. Wait. My bad. I thought. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. Let's go back. This is crazy. It's the first round. What? Oh my! Oh my! Oh yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> wow! Yo, mm. oh mm. my god, mm. yo, this god damn, damn. Ooh. he's taunting his man. Bro, this is crazy. Yo. So, all right, this is my question. Being that I'm not as into boxing as you are, why is King Garcia not somebody that, why was he, why was this so grossly um, mismatch? Mis yeah. Well, mismatch, and, and then Mitch, like you said, if everybody was voting on Haney and nobody was thinking of Garcia, how the hell did this happen? Because Garcia, so the thing about this fight, in my perspective, again, I'm like, the, I'm not the, 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 the biggest boxing analyst. I'm not a boxing analyst at all. It's just, just fan perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Ryan Garcia, to me, it looks like he won this fight off of pure just 
just like a street mentality, like um, basic instincts. Like just mm -hmm. if, if it was a fight, he wanted off of basic instincts. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how it felt. Like he just right. went in there and dominated on some like, I'm bigger than you. I hit harder than you. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. just better than you, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas though, Devin Haney is super like mechanical with his shit. Like he's a good, he got good technique. So Gosh. usually when we look at things like that, technique wins. Like when you are right. he's super like professional or he's super um uh disciplined, right? Like mm -hmm. it, he worked like he he's super professional with this boxing shit. He's mechanical. You know what I'm saying? He's sharp. And, and it looked like he kept trying to find he kept trying to find his openings, and the dude just wasn't giving him we'll that. Get there. He just, he's just get, he's being super aggressive. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, hold up, hold up. Maybe, but. So to answer your question, I think because Devin is super mechanical, he's super like strategic, like he he's really like sharp with his boxing game. Devin Haney has a lot of flaws. And when Devin, mm -hmm. I mean not Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia has a lot of flaws. In fact, that Tank actually exposed his flaws before the fight. He always said, bro, you all you got is that hook. Cause like Tank is a really good boxer. And I think Tank needs to get more respect for his boxing IQ. And because mm -hmm. a lot of people always call Tank just this knockout boxer, and that's clearly not true from his previous fight he's a good boxer mm -hmm. so having said that tank was like yo you only got that hook you only got that hook and it was so bad that in the in the fight he got knocked out off of tank countering one of his hooks right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so ryan garcia isn't as like mechanical is is so bad that if ryan was to get disciplined like, if Ryan had De Devin Haney discipline, he probably would be a problem. But you see, mm -hmm. up into this fight, how, how he was carrying himself. He came mm -hmm. overweight. Like, he ain't taking it serious. Imagine if he took it serious, right? Yeah. Even, even him fighting, he kind of looked all over the place. Mm -hmm. My perspective where Devin Haney lost was he tried to get out of his body. Even in the press, press conference, he was like, meet me in the middle of the ring. Devin, we all know that that's not your fight. Mm -hmm. You know that you don't want that fight. It looked like he really came to the pressure of trying to knock Ryan Garcia out. And Ryan Garcia came in as swinging. So Devin might have thought he had a chance. This is just from my perspective. Right, right, right. In the moment he did that, you fucked yourself over. Like, mm. Ryan, I think uh, Andre said this. He, you're absolutely right. Ryan mentally beat the shit out of Devin Haney because Devin Haney wanted to get that knockout so bad, and that's not your fight, bro. That's not mm. your fight to fight. This was embarrassing. It's, it was a it, it was bad for Devin Haney because he already don't sell fights. Niggas like mm -hmm. he, he, people already think he's he, he's giving off this fake persona, right? He's not like authentic. He's not genuine with how he acts, how he reacts to try to 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 for the buildup of the fights. A lot of things he do is just so he can get a fight, right? That's how it looks. It's like. Right. You're not no street dude. Like you don't like, bro. You keep pushing niggas. Like when he pushed Lomachenko, to me that was like the most corny thing to do because Lomachenko is not one of them dudes that's like trying to get in your face. Like he respectable right. dude. Like he like let's fight. Right. He pushed him. The nigga ain't do nothing to you. Like bro, you like I used to like Devin. Like nah, I used to. I used to like Devin Haney as a boxer and as a person. More mm -hmm. recently, I was liking him more as a boxer. Right, because mm. I feel like he lost some credibility when he pushed Lomachenko for nothing. It was corny. So me personally, I'm like, man, Devin Haney's going to beat this guy. Like, I'm that because he's more, he's more, he's just a better boxer, technique. Right. But seeing him get outside of his body like this, it wasn't Devin Haney-ish. But I know a lot of people would say it is because people already don't like him anyway because they think they think he's just all talk no bite you know what i'm saying like he barely got the one on lomachenko he beat um gambosa twice but that's not like gambosa like he's not really the best boxer like people you know what i'm saying so people already challenged him i thought he was really like that so this loss for Devin haney i don't know if he could it's like, can i you know what i'm saying because he's been trying to get big fights and niggas don't want to tank, don't want to fight him. Because, like, he like, bro, you're not bringing no money to the table. Why am I mm -hmm. fighting? You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's just, it, 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 it's, this was bad. This is bad. I bro. feel like them throwing this fight the way they, I mean, all right, let me stop. I feel like there's a potential that this fight could have been purposely thrown. Because this has a dual purpose. This sets up a, a King Garcia versus Tank fight. No. What? No. Hell no. That'll no. sell. 
because this sold. No, and no it's an upset. Bro, we don't want to no, see that. It's going to sell. I don't know. I don't want to see that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Tunnel vision. No, you said no, bro. Ryan Garcia haven't always been a, a, a great fight. We've seen him get knocked out. We've seen niggas expose him a couple times, bro. I didn't so say the, he was. I didn't say no, he was. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to I got a tunnel. Like, that's not necessarily true. And, bro, he was swinging wild. As, I don't know, maybe I'll watch it again. But I don't think he's the best technical fighter, bro. Tank embarrassed him because Tank showed he's a better fighter. Like Tank is, I feel like niggas don't get Tank the 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 respect, the boxing IQ he deserves. No, I, I agree with that. But I, and I don't want to see no rematch to Ryan. Chat, am I lying? I don't know. Y'all asking me because like I might be speaking too fast. I don't want to see a Tank Ryan rematch. I, I don't need to see that. I'm just looking at the potential business of it. It's a great way to you know. Ryan and Ryan and, and and Tank, and then look, Haney gets to do the road of redemption story. It's just like WWF. I don't think we care about you no know, redemption from Devin Haney. Boxing I fans. think I think if he changes his attitude, he retrains up, win a few smaller joints, come back, you'll love him again. That's all to take. That's all to take is learn how to act right, or he like he playing the heel on purpose, pushing niggas doing dumb shit. That just sound like some WWF shit. You know, all he got to do is be like, yo, after I got my ass beat in the last fight, you know what I'm saying? I got to get right with the Lord. I get married, you know, uh, yo, me get right with Allah, Halom do Shalah and all that. And then boom, 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 boom. Now we can start doing right. People start falling in love with him, build him up. And then like, bam, like, because if he's got all the essentials that's necessary to be a legendary fighter, the only thing he just needs is some PR, needs a PR turn, and he needs some good publicity. And one of the best ways to build up publicity is get your, the shit beat out of your ass. Everybody be like, that's what you deserve. And then you fight your way back and become a redemption story. Everybody loves a redemption story. Uh, I so know. I feel like this has dual benefit. You got, you got. A long, you got, you got, I got a long shot guy that I can put on a road to redemption where I can make a bunch of money doing smaller fights over the next three to five years. And then I also got the guy that just won the now it's going to sell tickets for a tank fight because there's going to be some people that's going to be like, yo, Garcia could make it a good fight. He might win. He won with Haney. So all he got to do is get a little focus and stop drinking beer at the way in and we good. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Tank going to talk shit. Garcia going to talk shit. I feel like it's a good conversation. Now, Tank going to want a gigantic, ginormous bag, but I feel like it'll sell. Because the conversation is, will it sell tickets? And Tank ain't going to turn down a high selling, high ticket selling event. I'm just mad because we was root. I was rooting for you, Devin. <laughs> Yo, I wanted me personally. I would have loved for Devin to beat Ryan Garcia. I would have loved for him to continue to rise to the top. So eventually, because I think um, shout out to my guy Ty. We was in the chat, and Ty made it clear. He, he made a great point because I'm like, bro, I think Devin should fight Tank. Like, I want to see Tank fight somebody that you know got the belts in. Like, I want to see him fight right. one of them big fights. And my man Ty was like, bro. You gotta understand, it be taking years for these big fights. Uh, mm -hmm. I.e., and I think I was talking to Tunnel about this too. Uh, Bud and Spence. That took a minute for that to happen, and when it mm -hmm. happened, it was it was a big fight. And I, I still don't think that shit sold out. So mm -hmm. if Devin would have kept climbing the ladder, mm -hmm. and he would have fought Tank years later, it would have been probably one of the biggest fights of the generation. Speaking of generation, Tunnel. So I, me personally, I wanted to see that. Now this kind of like this shifts. I, yeah, I don't. His division, at, at yeah, his division, I, don't, I think. You said what? I don't. I wouldn't want to see Haney boxing tank. That shit would be such an easy win. No, no, I'm saying if he won this and he could. Yeah, if he won this and he continued, I still feel like Tank can take his ass out easy. I mean, like, bro, yeah. that's, that's that's a different level of pressure. You feel me? And and on top of that, how's it gonna sell tickets? I don't even think Tank would want to take no, that. Because I'm, I'm not talking about right now. I'm saying years I'm later, saying like if, if, if yeah, Devin yeah, yeah. was if that De if Devin would have beat. Ryan, he would have beat. Right. Let's say he would have got uh Pitbull out the way. Let's say he would have beat Tio. All this is done now. All this is done. So, I'm just saying. So you saying you saying if he had won this fight and then two more after that, then he'd be ready for Tank. Is that what you're saying? 
not no not i'm not saying it would have been ready i'm saying i would have loved to see that fight the build-up of that fight i would yeah. love to see that moment in boxing but right. again all that shit is water under the bridge that's done it's done this you saying that there's no redemption story for haney no it is, i mean it's redemption story for everybody but i'm i'm telling you from the boxing fans right people right. are already questioning Haney's game like they not really yeah. aren't, he don't really sell he's not really a drawer people don't really care i'm saying i was like one of the few people that's like fighting for i'm just telling you the arguments that that i have right. so like i'm one of the few people fighting for him like nah i like Devin. niggas is like no he's not good bro you know what i'm saying so i would have liked him to come out on top and fight tank later on down the line but i mean all right so let me ask you this question what would you what does haney need to do who does he need to fight next to get you and win i mean you know what i'm saying for you to get back on board i mean I'm I'm talking about fully back on board, not I'm watching this with doubt and you know what I mean? Like who does he it's, really gotta it's hard to ask that quite say because I was rooting like I was on his side when he beat Loma. The mm -hmm. a lot of the world didn't think he won that fight. So for me, I already was already like I'm already kind of on edge for you. I'm already jumping out the window for you. Like you my homie or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't know this nigga. I'm already jumping out the window for this nigga. So to see the fight with Loma happen, how it happened. And then you come back and you lose and this, this how you lose it yeah it's like you could get redemption but do i have faith in it no because i had faith in you when a lot of niggas didn't have faith in you so it's like yeah i mean you probably could i don't yeah, he said a rematch one yeah okay ryan was three pounds over it's boxing that could have a a, a big impact and mm -hmm. granted some people would say it's not fair because it seemed like ryan garcia didn't plan to make weight in the from the beginning that's mm -hmm. kind of like it's skeptical so i can understand that so ryan asking for the rematch for him to be at the weight you know what i'm saying he was three pounds over that could be an advantage it could be a disadvantage because if he won people could have said ryan was slower because he was heavier i don't know mm -hmm. me personally i think ryan beat him in a convincing manner where i don't need to see a rematch because he dominated you not on top of his game so imagine if he was on top like he dominated you at the drinking a beer at the weigh-in he dominated you at like just Bro, like you let a alcoholic beat you up, to be honest. Like you let uh Yo, like you, this nigga dirty for that. Bro, you let <laughs> you let you let a fat alcoholic nigga beat your ass on television. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then you let him stick his tongue all out on your face, like shaking his legs and like teasing you, like, man, yeah, bro, you went out bad. I, like, I mean, it is what it is. That's how I look at it. But I, can Haney come back from this? Yeah. I mean, he could. Mm -hmm. do i believe like do i have faith in it eh. mm. you don't you don't and now don't. if i would i would like to see a now it's on ryan i wouldn't mind seeing a ryan garcia tank rematch at uh a regular weight a catch weight whatever the case may be if mm -hmm. ryan then goes beat other people like if he beats a tio fema lopez if he beats a pit bull if he goes and does the work that tank did already right if he if he go mm -hmm. watch these niggas then I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch, but right now, man, the way Tank beat Ryan and the way Ryan just beat Devin, Tank, I don't want to hear Devin mention Tank name ever again. I don't, honestly, after this, I don't want to hear nobody mention Tank. Tank is on a level by himself, sitting right. in the clouds, making his money. Let him make his money. Because you niggas mm -hmm. ain't, this ain't, this ain't cutting. Not Niggas, niggas ain't really cutting. putting it down the way they're supposed to. Yeah, All right. Now, what?